What's up, guys? So I want to talk about constant anxiety-related chest pain. Go ahead and smash that like button down below. If you're ready to kick anxiety in the butt, leave me a comment as well and let me know, is this something that you are dealing with? First off, guys, thank you for all the love and support I got in that last video. I love each and every one of you, and I'm definitely going to keep making these videos. So uh, we're going to talk about constant chest pain today. I know many of you are struggling with that. Um, it was something that I dealt with. Uh, constant means something different to everybody. Constant can be nonstop, literally nonstop chest pain for you know hours, days, weeks, months, or even longer. Or it can mean you just have chest pain throughout the day or at least one time a day, but over a constant period of time, like weeks or months. I dealt with both of those. I dealt with both of those and it sucked because the pain really made me feel like I was having heart disease or you know heart attacks or heart issues and that was my main fear for the first two to two and a half years of my health anxiety before I started worrying more about cancer and getting over the chest pain stuff. Um, it didn't reassure me at all. I would always go to the doctor and get tested but I would come back but I didn't understand anxiety. I didn't understand how it works so I didn't know that I was going to keep on having symptoms uh, which is funny because I never worked on my anxiety. I never fixed the problem so why would my symptoms magically go away just because I was told that uh, I wasn't having a heart attack. That wasn't the problem in the beginning. It wasn't a heart attack. I was just having anxiety. So um, that was something that I dealt with. So guys, whenever I first had that first panic attack, um, it lasted six hours. Guys, the muscle tension uh, it was enormous, enormous, and uh, it causes most of the symptoms of anxiety, and that's just my opinion, uh, but I think muscle tension is the culprit for most of the things that you experience. Now, there are other things that can cause chest, chest pain as far as anxiety goes, heartburn, GERD, trap gas, those are some in digestive issues, those are some things that can, you know, cause anxiety related chest pain. And chest pain is going to be different for everybody, guys. You can have radiating, stabbing, jabbing, dull weight, crushing, uh, whatever. You know, anxiety causes hundreds, if not thousands, of different sensations and symptoms, and chest pain is one of them. But I had so much muscle tension built up uh, from that six hour long panic attack that it carried over and lasted me for two and a half to three weeks. And this did not do, <laughs> do any good on my psyche because I was like, my chest is hurting nonstop this bad. There has to be something wrong. I had to have had a heart attack. It's amazing, guys, because just about a week ago when I made that video of me uh, saying that I almost had a panic attack, that my chest hurt after that and was tight for about four to six hours. And I haven't dealt with anxiety or anything in years, years. So that little episode that I had, it still took me four to six hours for my chest to unravel, if you will, and for the muscle tension to melt away. So guys, if you're doing, dealing with this, with long-term or constant chest pain, it is very normal with anxiety. I know it can be scary, but if you haven't, if you've gone to the doctor and got your reassurance and got your testing done and you're fine, you gotta trust those results. Because you're not gonna have a three-week panic, I mean, a heart attack like I did, you know? I was thinking that I was having a heart attack nonstop during that first two and a half and three weeks of my anxiety because it, it wouldn't let up so I just wasn't putting two and two together and, and being a little bit more rational about it at the time because anxiety makes us irrational we have these uh, you know crazier and irrational thought processes um, I didn't I didn't believe the doctors I didn't trust them uh, I didn't understand I just didn't understand the way anxiety works and, and guys I suggest that you really try to do your research and understand anxiety understand anxiety itself watch channels like mine um, you know, do what you got to do. If you need to talk to a therapist, make sure that you do that. The other thing that I was going to mention was uh, having anxiety related chest pains periodically throughout the day. And I dealt with this for the first two and a half years of my health anxiety. Um, I would be uh, eating or I'd just be on the couch. This didn't just happen when I had panic attacks, guys. It would happen whenever I was chill and calm. Um, I would randomly get a sharp pain in the middle of my chest or I would uh, get this weird pain whenever I turned or twist. Guys, something to uh, kind of reassure you, if not confirm, that your chest pain is from muscle tension. I get a lot of comments about this and I dealt with that. If you're having pain whenever you like turn a certain way or stretch, I remember whenever I would stretch like this, I would really feel it right here in the center of my chest. But back in the day, I thought that was just soreness from having a previous heart attack or whatever that I, you know, I thought I was having five or 10 heart attacks a day, which is crazy. You know, I'm a beast. I survived all them heart attacks, man. You can, I can survive major ones, minor ones. I'm surviving them in my sleep. Um, the doctors just ain't picking up on it. And that was how irrational I was at the time. But anytime you turn or twist or stretch or wake up or, you know, any, any type of way that you're doing that and if you're experiencing pain, 
I can tell you pretty much 100% that that's gonna be muscle tension. But I'm not a doctor, I'm not a mental health professional. I just share my story, my experiences to try to help you guys out. So make sure that you get professional help if you need it, either from a doctor or a therapist. But guys, if you're dealing with constant chest pain, I know it sucks, it's not very good for your reassurance. But guys, it takes a long time for that chest pain to go away, to melt away if you will. And if you're having constant back-to-back -back panic attacks all day like me, good chance it's never gonna stop until you get that under control. You know, long-term is the key for anxiety-related chest pain. I, it was funny, I was doing some research online, uh, seeing how long it takes for our bodies to calm down, uh, to not have chest pain or you know, some other symptoms. And it said anywhere from like 10 to 30 minutes is the average. Those people are lucky because it took me just four to six hours, even though I hadn't had an anxiety issues in forever, just a week ago to stop having chest pain. And that episode only lasted me, you know, about 15, 20 minutes where I was really anxious and almost had a panic attack. That lasted about 20 minutes, but I got four to six hours of muscle tension issues after that. So think about it, if you're always having panic attacks and you're always uh, having high levels of anxiety, why is your chest pain gonna go away? So that's where this constant kind of feeling comes into, you know, into factor into play. So guys, if you're dealing with this, guys, like I say in all my videos, it's a long-term anxiety management that's gonna be best for making this go away. There's not just a lot of short-term relief for um, anxiety chest pain. I'm just gonna be honest. Now, there are breathing exercises that you can do that will lower your heart rate and blood pressure instantly. So make sure that you try that out that could be something that helps exercise for me uh, did it a lot i know it seems kind of ironic why would you go work out whenever your chest is hurting um, it made me feel normal it made me feel healthy and it really helped me with my health anxiety in general and recovery guys exercise was a huge part i know many of you are scared to do it but uh, use it as exposure therapy and face those fears um, eating right and, and exercise is crucial because it makes you and makes you know makes you feel and makes you believe and reassures yourself that you are indeed healthy. So you gotta do those things. All my other tips for anxiety, guys, is down there in the description. There's a lot of different resources down there, so make sure that you check those out as well, my social media. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. The work week starts tomorrow, and I'm not excited about it, so I'm um, gonna try to relax this evening. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching.